everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge, and today we're going to talk about is this Rifle Dynamics. This was made from an Arsenal SLR 107. You guys have seen it in my other videos before. You probably don't recognize it now. It's because Jim Fuller sprinkled his magic dust on there and made it into a magic rifle. So we're going to give you a tabletop and then we're going to shoot it and show you guys what it's capable of doing. Let's get started. All right, folks, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what was done to this rifle. Uh, from the old one. So we'll try to give you some old pictures of what it used to look like and then of course you can see what it is now. Uh, what Jim and his crew did out there of course is they took that heavy block that was out here, that heavy front sight that's on an arsenal or any other AK, they got the front sight out there and what they did is they put this bolt and gas block and what that does in a sense is that it takes the gas block and makes it into the front sight. So it really moves the weight back and I've enjoyed it uh, quite a bit maneuvering with this rifle and shooting it. Um, they also put a new finish on here. They put this semi-gloss black on there. I like the traditional look. I like, you know, a good classic AK look on there. Uh, they also smoothed out the action a lot. Not that it needed it. I mean, that thing, I don't know how many rounds it had through it, but uh, I stopped cutting. Well, I, let me put it to you this way. When, uh, when Jim got it, he goes, you shot this gun out. So he put a new barrel on there. He put a, a U.S. made salt nitrided barrel on there, as well as this PWS uh, muzzle device up here. It's a flash hider. And it's supposed to be a break as well. I find it works great on both. It really, I mean, it's just a good thing to have on there. I'm not like a gear guy or anything like that, but it most certainly works a lot better than, than the other one. Uh, like I said, this barrel is that salt nitride barrel, US made one that, that Rifle Dynamics uses. And it's, it's tighter. It's tighter than what it used to be. And I'm gonna show you that on the range here in a bit. Once again, standard Ulti Mac, folks. Um, Aimpoint Micro. And of course, a Surefire Vampire Light and a Viltor mount, and also a uh, VTAC sling, standard comp block, steel magazines, they just work. Um, and I, I really like this gun, it's very handy to shoot. So let's go on out and quit talking about it and let's go shoot it. As with every Rifle Dynamics gun, guys, they really smooth the safety out. Sometimes you get AKs that the safeties, you have to be like, uh, you know, Macho Man Randy Savage to sweep it down. Rifle Dynamics is just smooth. It's, uh, it's just, exactly the way you'd expect it to be. So what we're gonna do is gonna show you some up close. We're gonna show you some uh, some fast and you know some fast shooting up close and then we're gonna move back to some distance, okay? It looks like she did pretty well here, got in there. That's one unhappy uh, customer right there. Not customer, not student. I mean, someone breaking into your house, right? But when we look out here, pretty good. It, it holds it well. Uh, re the recoil straight back, guys. I mean, it literally is straight back. And for the of you that shoot 762 by 39, you know that it can take a little bite out of your shoulder if you're not doing it properly. But this gun recoils pretty soft. And as you can see, it's nice and centered up here. So let's go do some distance and see how she does at two, three, 400 yards. Two hundred yards, um, two third size silhouette. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, this is a two hundred yard shooting. As you can see, four shots the size of a fist right there. And then I knew this one. This was my last one. I got ahead of myself. I got all excited and saw, you know, four, four shots right up here. And then I got excited and rushed that shot. Hey, we all miss. Just we want to miss as little as possible. But even with the miss, even with the miss, we're talking. 
this size group at 200 yards. So with that, if, you know, what this rifle is capable of is fist size group at 200 yards. That'll go blow for blow with any AR-15 out there, but it just goes to show you the quality of Jim's work. Let's go out a little further. Whacking it pretty good out of there at 300. Let's go out to 350. We got a white silhouette in the distance that's 350 yards away. Pretty good. Let's do another one just because. Three hundred fifty yards already. Let's go out to four hundred, way up there. <laughs> First round hit at four hundred. You know, guys, the AK is uh, AK is a quarter mile gun. You know, if you'll do your part, it's a simple matter of knowing your holds and having one that's actually put together well. And I think you can see from the evidence here. Uh, that rifle dynamics puts together a pretty good AK. They'll uh, they'll shoot on par with an AR-15. Um, it's it's in 7.62 by 39. And I'll tell you what, I've uh, I've got the pick of the litter on AKs. But when it comes for me actually going out and, and buying one, uh, rifle dynamics is is my choice, and it's the choice that I it's the rifle that I choose for my uh, home defense, and it's the rifle that I choose all around because I'll tell you what, these guns work, and they'll go to hell and back. Uh, and they'll continue working. And Jim Fuller's a good guy anyway. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.